click that like and subscribe button and go sign up on superchargestocks.com and let's keep you notified. Good morning, everyone. It's Andrew with Supercharged Stocks. I'm uh, here with a friend of mine, Catalan Klosiski, who is the president, director, founder, CEO, everything. This is your baby over at Gold Play Mining, uh, a, a new company, new project, new everything. And like I said, we're friends. I've known each other for, uh, for a couple of years now, uh, back from Tudor Gold. We've got a lot to catch up on, a lot of amazing work you've done from Tudor Gold, before Tudor Gold, to now, what you're up to now. Tell us quickly, what's Gold Play about? What are you guys looking at and what's happening right now? Excellent. First of all, Andrew, very nice to see you. Uh, you know, it's, it's, you're right. It's more than two years, actually. So look, today's announcement is really getting uh, control on a, on a huge district. And this is a, a relatively new district that's kind of sitting about 300 kilometers northwest of Vancouver, so kind of northwest British Columbia. Why it's, it's significant? Because geologically speaking, it could be a continuation of the geological trend that comes from Vancouver Island, where they have existing mines and, and big deposits and a continuation up to the ground, basically, as you go up the coast, right? So nobody has ever controlled the entire district like the vendor that we, we made a deal with. So he managed to put together the entire district. There's been sporadic pieces of work done on those projects with some eye-popping results. You know, we're talking grab samples averaging over 180 grams, channel sampling over, you know, 85 grams over two meters, 1% copper and I think 40, 45, 50 grams silver. And, you know, a bunch of work done sporadically. So I encourage people to go on our website, look at the project, click the image on the 3D image from Google Earth and look at the colors there. You know, it's a big, almost 20 kilometer long trend, which you're gonna see in brown there, this all alteration and, you know, those results that I mentioned kind of fall within that area. So it's great because this is a type of project that attracts the interest of majors. As a yeah. matter of fact, talking with the vendor, um, you know, we were told that Freeport, you know, the largest copper producer in the world, was quite keen on, on, on one of those projects. And, you know, was, was already in discussion with Adam, which is the vendor. Um, so, you know, it makes no difference whether who owns, you know, they're still after the project. So, yep. you know, our object, objective now is, uh, as we announced today, we have a crew on the ground, boots on the ground, effectively tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna spend an initial full week with about five geologists on the ground this year. Why? Because we really wanna, validate things and be able to come up with a work program based on the historical results and what has been done on the project and the work we're going to be doing over the next week to say next year okay this is going to be the work program for next year yeah uh, it's a big deal you know we're yeah. talking about up to 10 million dollar commitments from gobe so arguably too small too big for us but it's very smartly designed have a look at the terms committing seventy five thousand dollars this year about six hundred thousand dollar next year so fall within our means and abilities to do things even at the current size of the company yep. and then ups up from there right so in other words you know we have enough means to to advance the project to the point where we could you know qualified investors can have a serious look at the project and yep. be able hopefully to track that level of interest and either through you know equity or jv or whatever the case would be so um, you know, again, it's very smartly designed. That yeah, and it gives you enough time as well to do, uh, to add the value, to do all the, the, the data, collect all the information and build it up uh, without yeah. blowing out the, the capital structure. It lets you build it up in a safe pace that you're used to. Everything, as I mentioned, is structured um, wisely to allow us to grow into into what the objective is here, right? Yeah. And you, you mentioned a good thing, you know, with Tudor. Yes, you know, we, we did that step by step, you know, um, without causing a massive dilution. I remember we were raising the first $3 million at 25 cents, and then yeah. you know, the next one came in 50, 60 cents, and then the next one at a dollar, three dollars, whatever. Yeah. So, yes, you know, you, you do. And yeah, Tudor has raised, uh, while I was there, I probably raised for Tudor 
more than 20 to 25 million and probably by now they've raised you know 40 million yeah uh, we have this you know it's done at higher level so you can actually do it and, and that's why you know we are structuring our deal such that you know we're doing the initial work hopefully great results and then follow up and, and then as the story grows uh, you raise more money you have to have all those components together. You have to have the good project. You have to have the capital structure and you have to have uh, the people and that'll track the money as well. More important, you know, to add that, you know, we have somebody like Walter Coles, you know, CEO of Skina. And I remember the days when myself and Walter were sitting together, you know, I was a CEO of Canark at the time. He's the CEO of Skina. We were both like five, 10 million market cap and, you know, we had all great ideas. And I remember the day when even SK Creek was a concept for him. Yeah. Here we go. It's a billion dollar company. So now, you know, he, I get the benefit of having his leadership, having his insight, his network, you know, contribute to the company's success. And as a matter of fact, Walter is also a shareholder in Gold Bay. He's invested uh, significant dollars in the company. So he's not somebody that's just there with the name. You know, he's a shareholder. Yes. You know, he, I value his feedback. And uh, especially with this type of project that we announced today, we do need to reach out, you know, the big institutional investors. We need to reach out the majors and why not. And another person in my advisory board, Ken Brank, ex Newmont, senior executive, my huge reputation, you know, various senior roles in Newmont, perfect for our current transaction. You know, we do need to get into that type of, uh, you know, uh, interest, potential interest for our projects, right? So, so, you know, having all those people that support you and provide you the vote of confidence comes with a big responsibility on our end to deliver. Yeah. But more importantly, as you said, they won't do it unless they feel comfortable enough that, you know, we are onto something great. And that's yes. the reason why, you know, they are deciding to invest too, because, you know, they are aligned with everyone's interests, right? So it's, it's a combination of all factors, you know. Yeah. And, uh, we mentioned the West Scotty project and you also yeah. have two in Portugal? We actually have more in Portugal. Okay. Portugal has been, you know, when we when I created Gold Play, you know, we started with Scotty West Project, which was, you know, I mentioned to you what it was. But then soon after I met uh, a, a very smart geologist based in Portugal. Um, his name is Jose Mario Brango. He's the guy that ran the land in mining, the big land in mining operations for seven years in Europe. Very well connected, very smart geologist. So through his network, effectively, we've acquired initially a suite of about four projects in Portugal. And about two months ago, I think probably over two months ago, we've acquired three more in Portugal. Oh, excellent. Okay, wow. And, and, and the reason behind that is a very interesting uh, combination, you know, because we have this early stage, you know, district scale potential in BC, seasonal work and why not? And we're adding, we've added a portfolio of projects in Portugal, which are more brownfields, past producing. Most of them are past producing mines. You can work year round in Portugal. As a matter of fact, I'll be flying to Portugal in a, in a few days here. And we're spending several weeks there to, to begin the drilling campaign uh, in Portugal later this year. Um, so we've added, you know, that more advanced uh, project with potential to become a mine on a much faster than the BC would, right? Yes. And that also plays well with the expertise we have. For example, our chairman, Deep Amahot, is a world renowned metallurgist. He's involved in many, many uh, mining operations in the world. So he does have the experience and the conducts to put things in production. So we have the full suite of skill set within our group to tackle you know, anything from early stage to possible near term production. It is part of, uh, of the creation of the company. Yeah, uh, and you know we are actually fortunate to now have all those projects at a very low cost to the company, which is again part of my strength. I, I would say that we're able to negotiate deals that are very creative to the shareholders. You yes, know, we, we don't want to put too much on the line until the point where we say this is it. It's a yeah. big deal. Go for it. Yeah, but and that's 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 very smart as well because yeah. you can you can set the pace at which you're going to build out the assets and then see the data and the results are coming flow and then pivot if you need to. Um, instead of over committing to say one or two or three, yeah. raising a ton of money and then, oh, those got blown out. Okay, you raised a ton of money and then all of a sudden the share structure yeah. gets you know, I agree. set quite a bit. I agree, I agree, yeah. For the BC project, Scotty West project, uh, we have over 200 uh, pending assets in the lab and 
you know, fortunately labs are swamped yeah. from the board. So, you know, we, we have them sitting there for more than three weeks now, but soon we're going to start seeing results. So there is going to be a news flow from the Scotty West project. We already had one piece of news from Scotty West a few weeks ago with a nice XRF intercept uh, running, I think 70% uh, grams uh, silver and uh, up to 1% copper and gold, you know, yep. pending. Yep. So there is indication there's mineral there. So, yep. you know, fingers crossed, we'll make all those public and we'll put them in the context of what it means, right? So that's coming out. As I mentioned earlier, we drills will be turning in Portugal late September. Good. So call another month from that or thereabouts, you know, November or thereabouts, we should have drill results coming out of Portugal. Um, and as we speak, we have the work being started on those new projects, this acquisition. We have a whole team on the ground for a full week. So that's going to generate some results too. So we'll be providing updates on, on those uh, projects too with hopefully fresh results and then following into that, uh, the work plan for next year. So quite a bit Excellent. of flow uh, between now and kind of early spring. And then, you know, we're going to start again the work in BC and the work in Portugal. Hopefully if things go well, we'll not stop. You know, if we, beauty about Portugal really around. Yes. So if there's enough encouragement and investor interest, we could keep going. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely uh, keep everyone posted. And um, one thing we've always made, we've tried to keep uh, regular news flow Yes. So, you know, we, we're going to try to keep doing that because I know investors want information and they want to know what's going on. So um, having been through the industry for so long, uh, I have a commitment to investors that we will have regular news flow out. So people always know what's going on. And then also I'm available. My phone number is on the website. My email is on the website. Anybody wants to have a chat, always um, happy to do so. That's pretty awesome too. Not many presidents want you to, <laughs> and founders want you to call them directly. But I, but I love that. And I, I mean, it's uh, that's, that's another thing I just kind of re want to reiterate to people: like coming off of year like twenty years of hard work, and then coming off such a big win at Tudor uh, to get as much done. Like a lot of people go, "Great, I have a big win. I'm going to take take a time out." And it's like, nope, I'm going to go start my own company again and get right back in it, <laughs> and do it so quickly and, and and get all the projects and everything you've done up to this point. And then ready to plow right through the fall and winter here. I love it. I mean, it's it's it just shows the type of uh, mindset and passion that uh, a good I'd say a good twenty five percent of this mining sector has, like the real real sturdy strong side. That just they just love doing it. They just love going and finding stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I'm fortunate enough that you know I'm surrounding myself with good technical guys that can actually go on the ground and do the work, right? Like Adam yeah. Travis, for example, part of my advisory board. He's going to be boots on the ground tomorrow. He's an awesome guy. He was involved with actually discovery of SK Creek and SNP and, and you know, like the guy, it's solid. Like, and uh, he's boots on the ground for me for a week. Um, you know, and it's awesome, right? So yeah. um, it's a function of, you know, surrounding yourself with the, with the right guys that complement your skills or lack of uh, and are yeah. great in what they do, right? It's good. Well, you've put a great team together. We're definitely, and, and come on the show anytime you want. We want to hear the updates and see all the news, but this is certainly, uh, it's positioned very well. And there is a sense of urgency. I tell people like, you know, what's the urgency? You know, there's going to be news coming out uh, and you've got a lot of attractive pro uh, projects with, you know, very interesting people involved. So I really like uh, the fact that you reached out and uh, we're able to chat and get this out to people. And listen, I'm very excited to see what develops and how it develops. Thank you so much, Andrew. And again, pleasure seeing you. Great updating investors and we'll stay in touch indeed. Excellent. Thanks so much, Catalan. Have a great day and we'll talk real soon. Thanks, Andrew. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.